This weekend, I want to encourage you to focus on God instead of imagined worry about what may happen tomorrow. Most people live in the secondary realm. They are just obsessed with imagined worry about the things that might or might not happen. And they toss and turn at night trying to work it out. But often, most of the time, you cannot solve these problems from human mind. Human mind often was the creator of these problems in the first place. You must go higher to the wisdom from above, to not walk through life alone. And when you do this, well, your life begins to improve immediately. In Matthew 6, verse 34 from the Message Bible, it says, Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Do not fear, my friend, what may happen tomorrow. The same loving God that cares for you today will care for you tomorrow and will care for you every single day. All of us at one time or another find that our courage is tested. Now, be honest, you've had your courage tested many times in the past, and perhaps it is being tested this weekend. And there are reasons for this. Life, if we're honest, is filled often with disappointments and tragedies. And there's no avoiding the reality that life is filled with uncertainty and challenges. Challenges seem never far from our door. Maybe that is life itself. It is meeting these challenges and learning in soul growth how to meet them the right way with God's help. And when we do that, we find that life changes immediately. When we focus on our fears and our doubts, we'll find many reasons to lie awake at night fretting about the uncertainties of the coming day. But when we discipline ourselves, and it does take discipline, and it takes practice, what better time to do it than this weekend? To focus on God instead of our fears of what might happen tomorrow. We're going to not only get a better night's sleep, but also, my friend, you'll find that you deal with tomorrow a thousand times better when tomorrow comes. God is as near to you as your breath. God is in control. God is your shield. And God is your strength. God will help you if you ask God to help you. You have free will. You have the choice on whether to worry and fret and lie awake all night long or go to God and take life the easy way. So, bottom line, don't dwell so much on your doubts. Dwell on God. Trust God's plan and depend on God's promises. And you will find through practice that it is a worthwhile venture every single day.